Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. And the next story I'll be reading to you is about everyone's favorite big red dog called Clifford's Good Deeds. Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog Clifford. Whoa, he's big. A boy named Tim lives across the street. One day Tim said, I try to do a good deed every day. If I had Clifford, I could help a lot of people. I said, let's do some good deeds together. A man was raking leaves. Tim gave him a hand. Then we helped him put the leaves in his truck. I didn't know that dry leaves made Clifford sneeze. Achoo! Oh, big sneeze. The man said he didn't need any more help. We went down the street. We saw a lady painting her fence. We helped her paint. When we finished, she thanked us. Clifford felt so happy that he wagged his tail. That was a mistake. Oops. White paint splattered all over her house. We said we would paint the rest of her house, too. The lady said, never mind. Then we saw an old lady trying to get her kitten down from a tree. Tim said, Clifford, get the kitty. Clifford bent the limb down so the lady could reach her kitten. But his paw slipped. Oh, <laughs> oops. Clifford moves pretty fast for a big dog. The lady was glad to have her kitten back. It didn't take us long to find our next good deed to do. Somebody had let the air out of the tires of a car. The man asked if we could help him. Tim took a rubber tube out of the car and stuck it on the tire valve. Then he told Clifford to blow air through the tube. Hmm. And Clifford blew, but he blew a little too hard. <laughs> Oops. The man felt better when we took his car to a garage. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> we saw a small paper boy. He was so small that he couldn't throw the newspapers to the doorsteps. Uh-oh. Clifford gave him a hand. I, I mean, paw. <laughs> Clifford was a little too strong. Nothing seemed to go right for us. All our good deeds were turning out wrong. Then we saw a terrible thing. A man was hurt and lying in the street. Nobody was helping him. Tim said, you should never move an injured person. Clifford didn't hear him. He picked up the man. We started off to find a doctor. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, we helped the men get their cable back down the manhole. Tim said, Clifford, maybe you shouldn't help me anymore. Clifford felt very sad. He had tried so hard to do the right things. We headed for home. Aw. Suddenly, we heard somebody shouting, Help! Fire! <gasps> oh no! The house on the corner was on fire! Tim ran to the alarm box to call the fire department. Clifford ran to the burning house. There were two little kids upstairs. With Clifford's help, we got them out safely. Luckily, there was a swimming pool in the yard. Clifford put out the fire just as the firemen were arriving. The firemen finished the job and thanked us for our help. Good job, Clifford. That afternoon, the mayor gave us each a medal for our good deeds. Of course, Clifford got the biggest medal of all. <laughs> the end. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.